You know what's funny is I had the one of the of the perfect perfect one uh, with goofs in it, and uh, you know it's like it, it would have worked out great for you guys, um, especially if you like cats. So you know it just sucks that uh, this is happening, but this is part of of YouTube. So. And I know I probably look weird looking at talking to the mic, but uh, yeah. Sir, the prisoner has escaped in a pod. He's on his way right now to a little blue planet called Earth. Then send in the berserker. So, I have had issues once again tonight trying to get this one out. And, uh, you know, let's get on with this before, you know, I get uh, start throwing something. <laughs> okay? <sighs> Deep breaths. Alright, welcome in. Take the uh, sub button and, uh, you know, just throw it out the door. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. No, no, hit the sub button, please. And really hit the like button, and that really helps out. And, um, <sighs> rough night. So, um, let's get on with this, though. Uh, this is called The Rifleman, or by its original name, Blizzard of Souls, back in when it was released in 2019 in Europe. Uh, it's a war drama released in, uh, the U.S. on January 8th this year. Runtime is two hours and three minutes, and here's the cast. All right, here's the plot. The love story of the 16-year-old Orters gets interrupted by the First World War. After losing his mother in his home, he finds some consolation in joining the army, because this is the first time the Russian Empire permits national ballots. Pretty high budget looking film. I don't know what it is in Latvia, and if it's more or less in US dollars, but according to the Google budget for this war film was $1.2 million. I mean, there was a ton of extras and very well done looking wardrobes and very detailed real sets numerous in numerous places throughout this film. For the camera, it looked like it was a good budget quality camera, but not something from a very high budget one. They did a great job with the uh, physical effects. Can really appreciate that, far as I could tell. It was mostly used. The acting was good, but the horrible dubbing throughout threw it off by some. But I didn't have much problem looking past it to enjoy it. There was some filler and it felt a little too long, but I thought it was a very detailed idea of, a, of the horror of the trench war. Now, the camera work was really good, but there was some uh, shakiness in spots. And before we continue, here's my rating. Alright, welcome back. Lots of storytelling to this. It, however, felt like a slow burn. And a little scre uh, stretched out with fillers, in my opinion. I did like it, though, but not the top 10 best war films, in my opinion. Um, but what did you think of the film? Have you heard of it? Have you saw it? Let me know in the comments below. And hopefully I can get this out. If not, we're going to have a big issue. 
This is on a, I finally found the actual SD card. I looked even harder, which is saying much. Um, so hopefully we can get that done, but I do eventually need to get a bigger holding uh, gr uh mill millibytes or whatever freaking card but you know it's it's like down the road anyways this will do and uh please uh subscribe hit the like button uh, i believe i said that already and uh i love you all please stay safe and school